The best facelifts have always been the ones you don't notice at first glance. Despite that, they still have a positive effect. And that's the case with the Audi Q7. Most of the new beauty is on the inside, though. The manufacturers have fitted new engines in their top-of-the-range models. Audi's Karsten Kahl says the new Q7 has really restamped its SUV line and the sporty progressive design is a new departure from that segment. The Q7 has established itself as one of Audi's most important models. They will soon reach the figure of 250,000 delivered models. In diesem Jahr, in Kürze, werden wir 250,000 Fahrzeuge gebaut haben und an den Kunden ausgeliefert haben. The Q7 radiates power. The horizontal, and especially the vertical lines in the radiator, mean this is a car which will not go unnoticed. The truck rounds off this altogether muscular image. There is a choice of 18 or 21 inch tires. The ride is extremely smooth. Surrounded by carefully chosen materials, the traveler looks out at the passing world from an elevated position, typically Audi. We have in the last year Last year, Krauss says, Audi changed its models to better suit the company image. He says this year the focus has been on tactical measures, and especially the improvement of fuel economy. He says the three-liter diesel engine in the newest generation Q7 is fitted with an eight-stage automatic gearbox and a stop-start system. That means it can use as little as 7.4 liters to cover 100 kilometers. That means 195 grams of CO2 per kilometer, which is 19% less than the last model. We test the new 3.0 TSFI. Thanks to the four-wheel drive, this is also the perfect off-road vehicle. Power comes from a V6 engine. The air intake is compressed using power from the motor. Coolers keep the temperature stable and mean more oxygen gets to the combustion chamber and the engine is more efficient. The new V6 compressor engine comes in 272 and 333 horsepower versions. We test the more powerful one. Audi lists the fuel consumption at 10.7 liters. That means it uses 16% less fuel than the Forerunner model. Both the six and the eight cylinder models come with an eight stage automatic gearbox, which Audi says reduces consumption by 5%. The eight gears keep the RPM levels down so that the engine constantly runs at its optimum speed. Customers can also order the Q7 with electronically controlled pneumatic suspension. That changes according to the terrain type. On the motorway, it lowers the vehicle to improve stability and reduce consumption. The new Q7 goes on sale from the middle of the summer.